Hello everyone and welcome to a rather exciting Star Wars World Republic video, at least it's really exciting for myself. Uh, now in this game people have their hobbies or that one thing that they are really passionate about and they like to do. Some people collect mounts, other people collect pets, some people extravagantly decorate their strongholds and try to get the most prestige possible. Uh, but those people who are familiar with my videos know that the one thing I like to do is hoard credits. I like opening packs and getting rare stuff, but then I end up always selling them on the GTN or giving them away. And due to my credit hoarding nature, you can imagine my excitement when I hit 1 billion credits a few months back. I showed it off in about every single video after that because it's the one thing that I'm kind of proud of and you guys probably noticed that as well. That after I made that 1 billion credits, every single video after that in some way had to show it off. Um, however, lately, I simply decided that I was going to dig back into my roots and do something that I haven't done in at least half a year. I decided to dig into all the items that I have stored in my cargo bays over the course of over two years of playing this game, and I decided to sell that stuff on the GTN. Now, I have accumulated a huge amount of wealth over the years, either from buying low on the GTN or doing the various pack openings that you've seen on my channel. And some of those packs have been bought off the GTN for credits. A lot of packs have been bought off using the referral link cartel coins or the free cartel coins that I get from referral link clicks, meaning it was cartel coins that I got thanks to you guys for using my link. So a huge thank you to everyone that's used my link. Uh, I have never ever bought cartel coins in the history of playing this game, rather I leave my referral link in the description of my videos and as my channel has gotten more popular, which is in the past like 2 months, my channel has gotten insanely popular, uh, it's been the largest period of growth, I've been getting a lot more referrals as well and thus more of those juicy cartel coins that um, that's a lot of fun to have. Needless to say, I end up accumulating cargo bays full of some of the rarest items in the game and I just simply decided for the past week to buckle down and sell them. It took about 5 days of selling on the GTN, I had 10 tunes on the Harbinger and I used all of these 10 tunes to sell the items. So each of my characters could put up 50 items on the GTN so that means I was trying to sell over 500 items per day and keep in mind most of this stuff was gold rarity, it wasn't a lot of the silver or bronze stuff that I still have sitting in my cargo bays. And in a matter of 5 days, I ended up hitting the subscriber credit cap, which you probably already know from the title of this video. For those of you who do not know, subscribers do have a credit cap. Each character that a subscriber has can hold a maximum of approximately 4.3 billion credits. And as you guys can see on this character, every time I try to claim more credits, I get a message saying that I have exceeded the credit limit for subscribers. Now as I mentioned, this is a huge milestone for me as a credit hoarder because it's basically as high as I can go when it comes to making credits. It's the same as if I was a mount collector who has collected every mount in the game. The simple question is, what else is there left to do? And especially in the realm of credit making, I'm definitely not going to try to do something like hit credit cap on more characters because there's just no point in doing that. Having hit credit cap on one character is definitely enough to satisfy me when it comes to just having done something in the game. And the simple answer is there really is nothing left to do now except, I don't know, probably go on more crazy spending sprees which you'll probably see me doing in, in future videos, I do even more epic giveaways and find some other creative way to spend so many credits. Now I still have thousands of items left in my cargo bays and I'm talking about thousands because I never even touched all that silver and bronze stuff that I have just sitting there from all the pack openings I've done over the course of two years and I'm not really sure what to do with those items either but I'm sure we can figure out something for this new year. Now one question that I get from a lot of people and I think I'm probably going to get it more so now after showing off these many credits in this video is how can someone possibly get this rich and the answer is very simple, I was just lucky. Now I get that a video like this might come across as a way by which I can you know, show off and that kind of is true but I will be the first to say that I did not make these many credits because I'm some genius when it comes to the GTN or because I spent insane amounts of time and hours farming in this game. That is just not the case whatsoever. Sure, I played the GTN and that accounts for some of my wealth, but a significant portion of all these credits is also due to the fact that I can simply do pack openings for free because people use my referral link. So I was just lucky that my channel got popular, that people actually watched my videos, which still astounds me to this day. And I also got lucky with finding some awesome deals on the GTN that I have shared with you guys in videos. I will never forget that someone bought Senya's lightsaber for 500 million credits. 
That right there was 500 million credits that I did doing absolutely nothing. I just found one really good deal on the GTN. So the bottom line is all these factors kind of combined to what allowed me to reach where I am. Now, keep in mind, I'm talking about wealth that accumulated over the course of years. Uh, these are like items, I was selling items that I didn't even know I had in my cargo base. Some really, really old stuff that sold for a lot of credits. Now, I did not go crazy spending the cartel coins that I get from referral link clicks. Uh, this December has been crazy in terms of getting free cartel coins because as I mentioned, I was experiencing my largest period of growth for my channel, which meant so many new people were coming and watching my videos and people were using my referral link, which was giving me tons of cartel coins. But as you guys can see, I still have a sizable chunk of cartel coins left over from this December, which I will continue to use for giveaways and pack openings in the future. So don't worry about me having spent all of them just to reach credit cap. That is definitely not the case. I didn't like go and spend all these cartel coins just so I could make up, make this video. I, all I was, all that I was doing was selling items that I'd accumulated and just sitting there in my cargo base. I wasn't touching any of these cartel coins. So you can expect me to be showing off these credits in my future videos and also perhaps going a little crazy buying stuff. At the end of the day, I just wanted to kind of share this moment with you guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.